When logging into Colleague, we recommend that this is done via the Colleague Outlook add-in. This helps to ensure that there is a connection between the two applications. We will discuss the features of the Outlook add-in later on in this course. The first point to touch on is the navigation. Colleague is designed to be familiar to those with experience of Microsoft Office. Home will give you access to look up the main entity types. Also on this tab, you'll find the search, the communication options, the hot list or favorites list, and a list of records that you've recently opened. View will give you access to the diary, reports, Colleague CV parser powered by text kernel, watchdogs, and the summary and status options, which will be explained later in this course. On this tab, you'll also find Windows management and record specific options. The back office area is beyond the scope of this course. The file menu will be touched on, but it is predominantly covered in colleagues' admin training course. A key component of colleagues' navigation ribbon is the quick access toolbar. This allows you to add a shortcut to any of the menu options with a single click. The next point to cover is on screen sizing. When opening any record, Colleague will remember the sizing dimensions of that window. We recommend that you set up your workspace as you would like it. You should only need to do this once. Let's take a look at the selection screens. Each main entity record will have its own selection view with parameters that are unique to that record type. The key component we'll focus on here is the wildcard options for record selection. Trailing will bring back anything that begins with the word you've entered. Leading and trailing will bring back anything containing the word you've entered. And none is an exact match. When reviewing the results of a selection lookup, you will have the ability to click on Options and select the fields that you wish to see in the output. Before moving on to the next stage in this training course, there are a couple of useful tips that we'd like to recommend. The first relates to the changing of your password. The standard renewal period of your colleague password will be 28 days. However, should you wish to extend this, you can do so by clicking on File and then Change Password. The maximum period you can set this to is 999 days, which is almost three years. You can also quickly switch between Colleague and Outlook using these menu options. We have now covered the basic navigation of Colleague. The next section will be on the diary.